Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Redline Controls, and today I am going to show you the difference between linked formatting, smart duplicate, and copy format. So on my screen here, we can see I've got eight tags, four which are going to be my copy format tags, and four that will be linked format. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set these up with a little bit more information. So uh, I've put some simulated values in each one of these so that when we look at them on the display, uh, we see some values. So we can see the copy format tags versus the link format tags. And for those of you wondering what those dots are, those help me align information on my screen and I get those by clicking on this hashtag here. You need to be on the display page, have clicked on it, and maybe zoom in just one. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and give this tag one a format. Uh, if you'll remember, we go into format type. I'm going to pick numeric in this case, and I want one digit after the decimal point. So now I've got five digits before and one digit after. If I come back over here, I haven't yet clicked on the page, but as soon as I do, we see that now there is one digit past the decimal point. If I want to apply that to these three, what I can do is come back in here and select them all. The way I'm doing this is I click on the first one, hit shift, click on the last one, and now I'm going to do right click, copy from. I want to copy format from tag one. It says that the properties were applied, and if I go back and look at my page, we can see that that's true. Each one of these has uh, one digit after the decimal point. That is great, except now if I want to change and add units to this, maybe this is gallons per minute. So I add a unit down here at the bottom. If I come back over, I only add it to this top item. Now it's really easy to go back through and just do right click, copy from, copy format, and now we'll have that on all four again, but I'm going to show you a different way to go about doing this, and that's using a feature called Link Format. So I'm going to use Tag 1 as my prototype for the formats for the other three here, and let's go ahead and choose Numeric again. In this case, maybe I want two decimals after the decimal point, and let's go ahead and add in our units. Maybe this is uh, in meters, all right? So what I'm going to do now is just double check that that came through, and it sure did, 5.03 meters. Now I am going to link the format for this tag to the tag ahead of it. So I'm going to do pick. I'm going to choose linked instead. Notice I'm only doing it on tag two. I haven't picked tag three or four yet. Now what I'm going to do is drag that link format tag one on over from the resource pane. We don't take it from the navigation pane on the left. We're going to drag it over from the right. And now we'll see that tag two is the same format as tag one. To quickly add that to the other two tags, I'm going to right click copy from format. I'm going to choose tag two because that's the format I want to copy. And now if I come over here, they all match. Now what happens if instead of meters, this was supposed to be I don't know, yards. I can come back in here and by changing the suffix on this one, you'll remember when I did it before on the copy format tag, it only changed the first one. Let's see what happens when I change the units on just this one. If I click over here, we see that instantly all four of them were changed. So that's the difference between copy format and linked format. Now I can smart duplicate a tag at any time. You'll remember I can do control D, and that is going to make another copy format tag. It copies over the GPM and the one digit after the decimal point, but again, if it turns out that this is liters per minute instead of gallons per minute, I come back in here, add that tag to my screen, we're going to see that the liters per minute didn't copy over. But if I use that same smart duplicate feature here, and I want to add that new tag, we're going to see that it picks up that yards, 
And if I, instead of yards, meant to say feet, I come back to my uh, top line hierarchy uh, data tag and do uh, feet. And now all five of those will change. So that's it. That's how easy it is to link formats between data tags so that you only need to change it in one place and have it cascade throughout your program. Look for more tips and tricks here on the Red Line Crimson channel and have a great day.